G'day, it's Paul here down by Lake Macquarie and uh, we're just reading and meditating on Psalm 119 and so far we've read up to verse 72. Let's continue on from verse 73. Your hands made me and formed me. Give me understanding to learn your commands. May those who fear you rejoice when they see me for I put my hope in your word. I know, Lord, that your laws are righteous and that in faithfulness you have afflicted me. May your unfailing love be my comfort. According to your promise to your servant, let your compassion come to me that I may live. May the arrogant be put to shame for wronging me without cause, but I will meditate on your precepts. May those who fear you turn to me, those who understand your statutes. May I wholeheartedly follow your decrees that I may not be put to shame. Verse 81, my soul faints with longing for your salvation, but I have put my hope in your word. My eyes fail looking for your promise. I say, when will you comfort me? Though I am like a wineskin in the smoke, I do not forget your decrees. How long must your servant wait? When will you punish my persecutors? The arrogant dig pits to trap me, contrary to your law. All the commands are trustworthy. Help me, for I am being persecuted without cause. They almost wipe me from the earth, but I have not forsaken your precept. In your unfailing love, preserve my life that I may obey the statutes of your mouth. Verse 89, your word, Lord, is eternal. It stands firm in the heavens. Your faithfulness continues through all generations. You establish the earth and it endures. Your laws endure to this day for all things serve you. If your law had not been my delight, I would have perished in my affliction. I will never forget your precepts, for by them you have preserved my life. Save me, for I am yours. I have sought out your precepts. The wicked are waiting to destroy me, but I will ponder your statutes. To all perfection I see a limit, but your commands are boundless. And what did Jesus say was the greatest command? Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength, and love your neighbour as yourself. That's perfect. That's more perfect than all perfection. Verse 96, to all perfection I see a limit, but your commands are boundless. Verse 97, oh how I love your law. I meditate on it all day long. Your commands are always with me and make me wiser than my enemies. I have more insight than all my teachers, for I meditate on your statutes. I have more understanding than the elders, for I obey your precepts. Verse 101, I have kept my feet from every evil path so that I might obey your word. I have not departed from your laws, for you yourself have taught me. How sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. I gain understanding from your precepts, therefore I hate every wrong path. Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. I have taken an oath and confirmed it that I will follow your righteous laws. I have suffered much. Preserve my life, Lord, according to your word. Accept, Lord, the willing praise of my mouth and teach me your laws. The wicked have set a snare for me, but I have not strayed from your precepts. Your statutes are my heritage forever. They are the joy of my heart. My heart is set on keeping your decrees 
to the very end. Amen. Verse 113, I hate double-minded people, but I love your law. You are my refuge and my shield. I have put my hope in your word. Away from me, you evildoers, that I may keep the commands of my God. Sustain me, my God, according to your promise, and I will live. Do not let my hopes be dashed. Uphold me, and I will be delivered. I will always have regard for your decrees. You reject all who stray from your decrees, for their delusions come to nothing. Hallelujah. As we see the fishermen returning from the lake. All the wicked of the earth you discard like dross. Therefore I love your statutes. My flesh trembles in fear of you. I stand in awe of your laws. Hallelujah. See you later, buddy. Verse 121. I have done what is righteous and just. Do not leave me to my oppressors. Ensure your servant's well-being. Do not let the arrogant oppress me. My eyes fail looking for your salvation, looking for your righteous promise. Deal with your servant according to your love. That's great. Hear the water lapping the bank there. Deal with your servant according to your love and teach me your decrees. Hallelujah. I am your servant. Give me discernment that I may understand your statutes. It is time for you to act, Lord. Your law is being broken because I love your command more than gold, more than pure gold. And because I consider all your precepts right, I hate every wrong path. Your statutes are wonderful. Therefore I obey them. The unfolding of your words gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. I open my mouth and pant, longing for your commands. Turn to me and have mercy on me, as you always do to those who love your name. Direct my footsteps according to your word. Let no sin rule over me. Redeem me from human oppression, that I may obey your precepts. Make your face to shine on your servant, and to teach me your decrees. Streams of tears flow from my eyes, for your law is not obeyed. You are righteous, Lord, and your laws are right. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The statutes that you have laid down are righteous. They are fully trustworthy. My zeal wears me out, for my enemies ignore your words. Your promises have been thoroughly tested, and your servant loves them. Though I am lowly and despised, I do not forget your precepts. Your righteousness is everlasting and your law is true. Trouble and distress have come upon me, but your commands give me delight. Your statutes are always righteous. Give me understanding that I may live. Wow. <laughs> Hallelujah. Get into the Word. May the Word get into you. <laughs> we'll see you later.